Ever tried opening a website, only to be met with a weird number like 404, 500 or 301? Yep, those are called HTTP status codes, and trust me, they're more important than you might think. Today, we're breaking down the 18 most common HTTP status codes that every web user or developer should know. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what these codes mean, but also how to handle them like a pro. So sit tight, grab a snack, and let's get into it. Before we dive into the codes, let's quickly understand what HTTP status codes actually are. When you visit a website, your browser sends a request to the web server. The server responds with the requested content, and along with it, a status code that tells your browser how the request went. These codes are like a language between your browser and the server, some good, some bad. Let's kick it off with the 1xx codes. These are informational, which means the server received your request and is processing it. You don't see these very often as a regular user, but developers do. 100 continue the server is telling the client to keep going with the request. Nothing special here, just a green light to proceed. 101 switching protocols, this one's rare, but it happens when the server agrees to switch to a different protocol, like upgrading from HTTP to WebSockets. Now, we all love these 2xx codes. These are the happy path responses, meaning everything worked as it should. 200 OK, this is the one you want to see. The request was successful, and the server is sending the content back. Think of it as a thumbs up. 201, created this usually shows up after you've made a request to create something new, like uploading a file. The server is telling you it's done. 204 no content, this is when the server successfully processes the request but has nothing to send back. It's like saying, got it, but no response needed. Next up, 3xx codes, which are all about redirection. The server is basically saying, hey, what you're looking for is over there. 301 moved permanently, this means the resource you're trying to access has permanently moved to a new URL your browser will automatically take you to the new location. 302 found similar to 301, but the move is temporary. The server is like, we're here for now, but might be back later. 304 not modified your browser already has the cached version of the content, so the server is saying, no need to reload. Just use what you've got, this helps pages load faster. All right, now we're entering danger zone 4xx errors. These are client-side mistakes, meaning something went wrong with your request. 400 bad requests, this happens when the server can't understand your request. It's like giving someone instructions in the wrong language. 401, unauthorized, you need to log in. The server's telling you, I see your request, but you're not logged in or don't have the right credentials. 403, forbidden, you're logged in, but you don't have permission to access this resource. Think of it as a locked door, you can see it, but you can't open it. 404, not found the most famous one. The server can't find the page you're looking for. Maybe it's been moved or deleted. This is like walking into a room and realizing there's nothing there. 408 request timeout your request took too long. And the server's like, sorry, I'm out of patience usually. This happens when you're on a slow connection. Now we're on to the 5xx errors. These mean something went wrong on the server side, not your fault. 500 internal server error. The server encountered something unexpected and doesn't know what went wrong. It's the I messed up of the server world. 502 bad gateway. This one shows up when one server gets an invalid response from another server. It's like a bad game of telephone between servers. 503 service unavailable. The server is currently overloaded or down for maintenance. It's like calling someone and getting a busy signal. 504 gateway timeout. This means one server is waiting too long for a response from another server. It's similar to a 408, but this time it's the server that's out of patience. And finally, here's a bonus some less common, but still useful HTTP codes. 418, I'm a teapot. Yes, this one is real. It was originally created as an April Fool's joke, but some servers still include it. If you get this, it means the server refuses to brew coffee because it's a teapot. It's a fun one, but don't expect to see it in real life. So, now you know the 18 most common HTTP status codes. From the satisfying 200 OK to the frustrating 404 not found, each code tells a unique story about how the web works. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends, especially that one friend who keeps getting 404 errors. <laughs>